What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter with a PMB Rock update. You know, I was watching some on TV the other day and it had me shook. The police chief of Los Angeles actually said he believed that social media was the reason why PMB Rock was targeted. Um, I get it. I understand it. We heard all the rumors. So, you know, I want to put that down here. L.A. Police Chief, okay? He says PMB Rock was targeted because of his social media post and his girlfriend social media post. We all seen it. They posted it. A lot of people felt like that was a location drop. You can't do that. That shit get dangerous. You can't tell nobody where you at. I get it. Don't get me wrong. I do think that, um, in my opinion, you know, is a mistake. You know, I think that is clearly a mistake. And I think, you know, she should have been warned big time. Even though it is video showing PMB Rock warned his girlfriend. It's, it's video to show that he warned her. But don't get me wrong, she a female. She posting her food. You know, they having fun. They spending that rap money. I understand it, you know. Women post pics. Let's just be honest with that shit. I think we do got to get to the point where we school the ladies a little bit more when they dealing with a high profile man. We got to school it, drill it in their head that, you know, the things you do with an average guy, you know, you can't really do on this side of the rope. You got to move a little cautious. So I get it. Don't get me wrong. I think that is very, very strong. But here's my problem I got with that, okay? The suspects, because they said it was a getaway car. The suspects have not been caught, okay? This is my problem. The suspects has not been caught, okay? So in my opinion, how in the fuck can this police chief tell you that this happened over social media? Only person can tell you that this shit happened over social media is these suspects. And they ain't caught yet. Okay? So all this shit is still a hunch. Alright? Okay? Now for this police officer to be doing a live press conference telling people a hunch is kind of, in my opinion, a little wrong, in my opinion. I think this is wrong. You know? And then to put this on social media is another thing. In my in my opinion, the problem with all this shit is the suspects. They the reason PMB Rock is not here no more, okay? The person to blame on this shit is the suspects. Not no motherfucking social media. And I'm going to tell you that. Don't get me wrong. I do think this was a mistake. I think this can be come off as very reckless, okay? Don't get me wrong. I think that can come off as very reckless maneuvering like that. But look, this man chilling with his girl in a fucking restaurant, eating some food real early. Y'all acting like the man had on $25 million worth of jewelry. The man got on the chain of Rolex. I get it. Maybe he shouldn't have that on at that moment. It's a lot of people talking about that. I get it. Um, but that man can go out with his girl, man. Come on, man. C cut that bullshit out. Somebody killed this man on some bullshit. I get it. And then I hear all the rappers talking about, you know, you can't be up in that restaurant. Everybody know that's the most dangerous one of all time. People be getting fucked up up there. The game rapped about it. All kind of shit. You can't go here. If that's the case, why wasn't it no security or no police presence? I mean, we know this place that damn dangerous. It's killing everybody. You can't go up there. 725 million people that got shot up there. 85 million people that got killed up there. They robbing people. Your boyfriend shooting that motherfucker who come up in there. If y'all know that, why there ain't no security? Why there ain't no police presence up in there? I want to know that. Now, I understand he might have should have had his own security bodyguard. I get it. Don't get me wrong. But I think that man did exactly what the fuck he wanted to do and did exactly what the fuck anybody would have went to the head. That man went and got some food with his girl. He ain't with the guys. He ain't with his homies. When you with your girl, you let your guards down. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think that is a mistake to do that because it is weirdos out here, okay? It's weirdos out here. So I do think that is a mistake. Hopefully, I spelled that right. I do think that is a mistake because it's weirdos. It's nothing ass niggas out here. You feel me? And it's nothing ass bitches out here. 
So you got to be careful because a motherfucker would do you dirty. But in my opinion, that man went out to go get some food with his girl. It was early. He was chilling. You don't know how long he was there. That man could have been there for 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Man, y'all, I, I get it. Location drops. I get it. Gang banging. Street shit. I get it. But it's almost like the no snitching shit. I get it. These are hidden rules. To tell me this man can't go in a fucking restaurant, eat some fucking waffles and chicken with his girl, his bride to be, that that's captain. Now, is that the right thing to want to do? I get it. But to act like, hey, that's the dumbest shit in the world. You can never do that. That's the dumbest shit. I don't know why the hell he did that. I don't want to hear that. Don't let that internet trick you with that. Because that nothing ass nigga came in and thought his life wasn't worth nothing. You know? I think that nothing ass nigga is the person we need to put the blame on. Stop putting that blame on this guy. Putting the blame on social media. This 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 police chief confused me. You can tell right now they eating all kind of apple fritters, strawberry donuts. They're not going to do the work. You know, they eating all kind of strawberry, you know, all kind of strawberry danishes. They drinking strawberry milk. They doing all that shit right there. And then the chief, when he got done eating his last danish, he threw the last piece up in the air. He threw the last little piece of fritter in the air. He caught it. And then he said, it was social media. And this is what we dealing with. We need some real police work on this, okay? Now, I'm not here to knock nobody. So, police, don't get mad at me, Chief. I'm not here to knock nobody, but that's where they came off as. You know, to come up with this conclusion in fucking 24 hours, the same conclusion that we all came up with sitting in our own crib eating our dinner, you came up with that same fucking conclusion. It's kind of heartbreaking to me. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he wasn't targeted. I'm not saying he wasn't targeted on social media. I'm not saying he wasn't a target, and I'm not saying... That it didn't come from social media. Because it does feel like it might have came from social media. But we want more than that. You know, that's a rapper. We all cared about him. You know, the community and the rap community cared about him. We would have thought we would have got a little more information than that. You know, we would have thought we got a little more information than that. You know, to be honest with you, that press conference sounds a little, uh, in my opinion, that press conference sounds a little bloggy to me, all right? It sounded a little bloggy to me, all right? That sounded a little, I want y'all to hear me, y'all. That sounded a little bloggy to me, okay? When we watching the news, we want a little more credible information than that. You know, if it's social media, cool, but it feels like you just putting this whole death on this guy, made the dumbest mistake in the world, that was dumb as hell, he said, no, 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 no. Let's blame the suspects. Who came through and killed this man. And and, 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 and why he shot. And why he fucked up. Ben had enough nerve to bend a dirty arm down. And pull some fucking jewelry. Off of this man while he laying down bleeding. Alright. Let's blame that. Let's blame them. Instead of blaming Instagram. In my opinion. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep the donation to yourself. It's hard out here. Like I keep telling you, you don't got time to give me your baby snack money. Today, one of them days, your baby wants them flaming hot with the chips, with the cheese and the meat. They even got jalapenos now. I went to one of them joints. They got jalapenos now, a little sour cream. Hook them up. Give them the full lift. Put a little pop on the side. You don't got no time to be giving me that money, man. I'm a grown-ass man. If times get hard, I figure it out. You want to support me, you hit that like button. Bing. That's what happens when you hit that like button. It makes my videos grow and a lot of people be able to see them. I appreciate the love. It's the homie True Tell the Street Reporter. Hold on, wait. Here you go. Blip, blip.